Nino Brown Boxing, and I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe. So, the rumors that I've been hearing circulating around the a potential fight between Mikey Garcia and Robert Easter has got me thinking about something that's kind of off topic when it comes to their fight, but it's definitely related to Robert Easter. When I say that, I mean, um, I'm starting to think about Robert Easter as a fighter and then I'm thinking about him being a fighter to about being promotion and if Robert Easter is to fight Mikey Garcia he's going to be fighting the guy that Adrian Brown would beat now let's say let's say Robert Easter was to beat Mikey Garcia I'm thinking like how does that make a guy like Adrian Broner feel and then that got me comparing Adrian Broner as a promoter or Adrian Broner as the big bro to Floyd Mayweather as a promoter or as a big bro. And I see a lot of similarities when it comes to that for those guys, but I also see a couple of big differences that I don't really hear people discuss too often, but I think those differences will put Adrian Broner to have a more successful career as a promoter than a fighter. I say that because... Based off of Adrian Bronner's behavior from what he's shown, um, when it comes to like him publicizing his issues with Floyd Mayweather and the media, I gotta say this: Adrian Bronner, he comes off as a very loyal guy. He, you know, he seems like he's the type of guy that he wants his loyal bro to do good, even do better than him. It seems like he's not the type of guy that will feel jealous. Or feel any type of feel any type of negative way towards his um towards his little bro beating the opponent that he lost to. Now on the other hand, a guy like Floyd Mayweather, the way his ego is set up and the way this guy is, like I don't see that. I think Floyd Mayweather he wants his fighters to do extremely well. He wants his fighters to do well enough, but never better than him. And if he's looking at it from a promoter's standpoint, if all of his fighters do one notch below him in every single thing, you know, he's an extremely rich and successful promoter. But as long as they don't outdo him, it seems like he's all good. But a guy like Adrian Brown, he comes off as like, you know, that that really doesn't matter to him. He it seems like he looks at these guys, he looks like a, he look at a guy like Robert Easter genuinely as his little bro. And like me, I don't have any younger siblings, but I'm a big, I'm a little bro to someone myself. And to me, that little bro, big bro relationship, you know, when it's not blood, the understanding is the big bro has been there, done that. He's already experienced it. And he wants you to do better than him. Floyd Mayweather doesn't come across that way. And I feel like since Floyd Mayweather is, you know, he's wired to be that type of guy. Like, I want you to do great, but never better than me. I think that gives Adrian Broner the ability to have a higher selling when it comes to him, uh, like being a full-time promoter one day. Especially if a guy like, especially if Adrian Broner, you know, he sticks with a guy like Al Heyman. He learns from him. You know, he's starting his promotional company at a young age. He's a very successful boxer, but his selling can be a whole lot higher because he knows how to treat people. Now, I don't know. Like, I've heard stories about Floyd, and I've heard stories about Adrian, of course. But it's just certain shit about um, Floyd Mayweather that always rubbed me the wrong way. Now, the stories I heard, allegedly, Floyd Mayweather, like, has been the type of guy, you know, if he doesn't get all the attention, um, and you see, like, an attractive woman in a room, Floyd, and even though she could be with her man, Floyd's the type of guy that come open a money bag and show her, like, 200, 300K, and I'll say some ridiculous shit like, oh, do your man got this? Can your man buy you this? Can your man buy you that? For the simple fact that he's not receiving the attention from this woman that's obviously in a relationship with a guy. See, shit like that, like, I can't respect. Like, those type of men, like, they they receive no respect in my book. Like, yes, you can be extremely successful, and I'll definitely give you credit and give you respect for the hard work that you've put in, whatever career path you've taken. But when it comes to respecting you as a man, respecting you as a person, 
Like, I can't respect those type of people and the extent of trust that I can have for those people. Like, it's extremely limited. And if people are aware that Floyd Mayweather is this type of guy, you know, it should put, uh, you know, it should be a red flag for a lot of people. Like, right now, it's not a young, a quote-unquote young promoter you know, um, as successful as Mayweather, especially a black one. I think if Adrian Broner was to start to pick up a whole bunch of steam when it comes to his whole about being promotional company, he's assigned some uh, young up-and-coming fighters, and he starts to expand out of his home, uh, his hometown of Ohio, he'll definitely be able to um, surpass the money team, TMT. Like, I can definitely see that. Now, that's only if Adrian Broner stays focused and he doesn't do anything stupid in the meantime that could tarnish his that can tarnish his reputation as a promoter. But when it comes to just the cat, the, well, when it comes to the specific topic of him being loyal, him genuinely having his little bros or his, you know, his fighters' best interests at heart, I believe he's above May Mayweather when it comes to that particular area. Um. Then now, just going back to the whole Robert Easter, Mikey Garcia fight, I, I personally believe that Adrian Bronner is in an ideal position to promote this fight to be extremely big. For the simple fact, Al Heyman is Adrian Bronner's advisor. Al Heyman is an advisor for Mikey Garcia. With the help of Al Heyman, with the backstory that Mikey Garcia beat Adrian Broner, with, um, with Adrian Broner's ability to bring a lot of attention to himself, you know, his ability to sell, his ability to, uh, his ability just to make things around him such a big deal, whether it's negative or positive, he can promote this fight to be a lot bigger than what most people think it can be. I truly believe that uh, Adrian Broner has that type of ability when it comes to promoting. Um, he could Him using the fact that Mikey Garcia beat him could be one of the key reasons why... Um, he could, it can be one of the key reasons why this fight blows up for the simple fact that's not an angle that Floyd Mayweather has ever been able to use. And to my understanding, I mean, well, yeah, that's not an angle that Floyd Mayweather has really ever been able to use. And that, I mean, Rob, I mean, excuse me, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, he had that ability to use that angle when it came to Canelo fighting Mayweather because he lost to Mayweather. But that, you know, when it comes to that, you have to suck up your pride and pretty much, you know, promote your guy. You know, say, I believe in my guy, but go beyond that and just use the fact that he beat it, he, that this guy beat you to your advantage. I truly believe that um, Adrian Broner has the ability to do that for Robert Easter, someone that he considers a little bro. And I think that can definitely set Adrian apart from uh, other promoters because of the simple fact that he can create a backstory that can definitely sell to the public. Especially it can sell to people that just hate Adrian Bronner and it can sell for people that like Adrian Bronner. I think Adrian Bronner needs to focus on being a boxer, but I truly believe this guy has a big future in being a promoter. This is Nano Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Peace.